This year we had a number of extremely good entries. Each one of them was probably good enough to make a winner or at least a runner-up. So we had a very, very dense, tight field of extremely good candidates. What really motivates me in neuroscience in general is this amazing fact that our, all of our behaviors and our, our feelings, our thoughts, are, are driven by this uh, clump of, of tissue of cells in, in our heads. The, the goal of our research is to understand uh, the function of um, specific types of neurons in the brain that release chemicals called dopamine or serotonin. Uh, now there are very few neurons in the brain that release these chemicals, but they release them throughout the nervous system. Uh, and this, this uh, striking anatomy has been observed for, for many decades, but we know very little about their function. One of the things I really enjoy about our research is uh, the ability to work with uh, lots of cutting edge uh, tools and technology to address these really long standing questions that, uh, that humans have had since, since we became self aware. So we, we've always wanted to know about uh, what drives our, our thoughts and feelings and, uh, and we, we finally have the tools in, uh, in the 21st century now to start answering these questions. So my research involves uh, studying electrophysiological properties in the brain region called parahippocampal formation. And that region is uh, important for navigation, learning, and memory. And there are neurons in uh, this region which are active in a very interesting way, in a kind of crystal-like way, which means that they fire in multiple fields distributed across the environment and arrange the hexagonal symmetry, symmetry just like crystals do. And uh, my main questions concentrated on studying this symmetry, uh, looking uh, what can break it, so searching for anomalies which could then inform us as to how this symmetry was made in the first place. Uh, what motivates me in my research is a curiosity, constant opportunity to find out something every single day. Some, every day is different. My research involves studying the basic mechanisms underlying how neurons talk to each other to process information. As it turns out, neurons use chemical signals to communicate with each other. And these chemical signals are typically stored in tiny, tiny bubbles called synaptic vesicles. And when neurons are stimulated, these vesicles are used up to send out signals to the next neuron or their target cells. The problem is that you are using so many vesicles every second, but there are only a few hundred of vesicles in the synaptic terminals where the communication takes place. And so we de develop a new method called flash and freeze to visualize, di visualize this process by electron microscopy. The way this works is we make neurons sensitive to light by some genetic tricks and stimulate neurons using flash of light and then freeze them at different time points after the stimulation so we can take snapshots of neurons while they are using their vesicles and while they are recycling these vesicles. Uh, being able to visualize things is what, what I really enjoy. And sometimes I see all these structures that nobody, nobody has seen before or I don't even know what's going on. And then figuring out uh, what it is and then designing experiments to tackle what it is, what, what it is, is actually uh, what I enjoy most about my research. The judges initially assess the quality of the manuscripts um, by looking at the writing itself, so how can it draw the attention of the reader, and by also looking at the quality of the research, because we want to, have, we want to somehow cover both. An interesting story, um, we had them listed alphabetically and Watanabe comes at the very end of the alphabet. So at that stage people were already getting tired. But it was, when his essay came across, it was just outstanding science. And the way he was writing was also grabbing the attention of the reader. So everyone agreed that he should get the prize this year. Um, after looking through the list of people who won the prize and then knowing how su successful they are now, I just didn't think that uh, I would have a chance of winning this prize. But I felt that you know, this would be a good exercise to communicate my research to the broader uh, audience. I think this prize will help me in many ways, um, but most importantly, I think it's gonna open up the doors for uh, my next step. And I'm actually starting my own group uh, in a couple of months, and I'm gonna start applying for a grant or recruiting students to my lab. And then I'm sure this prize, the recognition from uh, this prize is going to help me out uh, in that regard. 
my advice to a young scientist submitting an um, essay for an Epidorphin science competition is to be playful about it. My advice uh, if you're considering submitting an essay is to definitely do it so that you have the opportunity to uh, disseminate your ideas to a broad scientific audience. It will help you rethink about your research in a broader perspective and it will be a good exercise and so just do it.